What are you getting ready to run? What? I can't hear you. How many times is it? Huh? Okay, so tell your Uncle Mark how it was running the mile. Your first time running it. What did it feel like? I was tired, but I just ran like four times. Um, four times. And it was hard, but you was able to do it, right? My feet was hurting. Next time you'll be able to do it easier, right? The first time is the hardest. Now you already know, you know you can do it, right? What's up, y'all? It's Monday morning, and we're heading out. We're just a few minutes away from our first pickup right down the street from the house. It's supposed to be a load of beams going to Gainesville. It's paying, paying uh, 900 Uh and then after that, we got a, we're booked on a load that's coming coming back to uh, Houston area, Cyprus actually, paying 950, 900, 950. I forgot which one is which one's which, but uh, uh, the appointments are kind of tight, so. I might something I might get hung up. I hope I don't. But uh we'll see how it goes. But it's Houston to Houston. It's supposed to be Houston to Houston same day. Uh 1850. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're over here waiting, man. These people, they act like they're not in a rush to do anything, man. Just being honest about it, you know. Uh, but you know what? I mean, they, they got they got their responsibility to load the trucks, and, and they're gonna get them loaded, man. They, you know, this. It, 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 it really is my issue about me scheduling these loads so tight, man, and trying to get loaded. Well, they got me in, man. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just, I'm just sweating it, man. This ain't that bad. I'm just sweating it because, because I know I got my loads scheduled tight, man. It's really my issue, man. These, these they check me in at seven, man. It's already seven. It's only seven thirty, man. So I mean, I get it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah, this is. I guess they do with the metal. So it's ten minutes past eight, and I think you finished loading me. It's flat plate, so I, I figure I'm gonna put chains on it, edge protectors and, and straps. Here he comes. So this low is paying 950 going past Dallas actually going to Gainesville I, I probably could have got a better load man to be honest with you what's up y'all that second load didn't work out man I got it took this load took up too much of my time man it, that load got canceled so I'm in Gainesville right now man and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look for something tomorrow morning, man. So that's 9.50 for Monday. Uh, so this is, this is, this right here is is uh, the worst Monday I've had start, so far starting off. Houston to Gainesville, 9.50 Monday. But the good thing about it is we'll be 
starting our Tuesday off in Dallas. So we'll see, uh, Gainesville. So we'll see how that goes, man. Hey, good morning, y'all. So today's Tuesday, and uh, I deadheaded from Gainesville over here to Fort Worth, hoping to pick up a load real quick and take this to Denison. I booked it this morning. It's paying six twenty-five, but I've been waiting at this place for like over an hour and a half, and it's not the quick, quick load that I was kind of hoping for. It hasn't been so far. Hopefully, we can get this thing wrapped up and I can get loaded and get out of here. I'm kind of hesitant on booking anything out of Denison. I see some stuff, but you know, I'm I'm just hesitant because I don't know how this is how this is gonna go. If I would have already been loaded and on my way, I would have I, I probably would have been more willing to book something. But you know, I'm still still waiting to get loaded, man, and uh. But uh, it's still all good over here off of 28th Street and Fort Worth Avenue at, uh, I don't even know the name of this place, but yeah, hopefully we get this thing low. They got steel coils in there. It's supposed, it's supposed to be plate. It's noon, man, and I'm still waiting to be loaded, man. It's just, it's not working out how I expected, man. Now I know, that's all I can say, man, is now I know, I know a little bit about this place now. But I seen trucks come in and out, man. I talked to the guy gave him my paperwork man after waiting patiently for an hour I was parked over there he told me to park by building eight and that's what I did I parked by building eight and, and you know I was told then I was told to move over here uh, it's been two hours man I mean uh, five hours Sitting at this place, waiting to get loaded. You uh, know, well, I'm finally loaded, man. We're here, man. Finally getting unloaded. I'm over here in Denison, Texas, man, and I still haven't booked anything. I see loads coming out of Medill. They're not too great. Um, and uh, I'm feeling in, indecisive right now. I'm not really for sure what's the best thing for me to do right now. I mean, I've waited too, I've, I feel like I've waited too long up over here instead of just going back to Dallas. Um, and finding something, I would have been. I would. I'd be in a better position if I would have just went to Dallas yesterday after after I made this delivery. But I didn't do that, and I'm still. It's already about 8:30, and I'm still hanging around up here trying to look for something that makes me feel right about booking, and I, I haven't come across that yet. What's up, y'all? We over here at our next spying on these guys, trying to see how they 
how they're securing this load, but this is why I'm picking up these reels. I booked the load with a new broker. I can't even think of the name of the broker. They had an easy setup process through my carrier packets and uh it's I, so I, this morning I was in Dennis and I did head back to Dallas and then now and then when I got to Dallas uh I went by a parts uh place and I looked for a load and I found this load and had, so I had to come come back up here to Aubrey about a 45 minute drive back north uh um to pick up these reels it's paying 750 but the good thing about it is it's going to Missouri City right there you know South Houston where I'm going where I, where I live at so I think I'm going to I'm going to take this load back and then see what I can get leaving Houston again because the rates that I've been seeing over here man they haven't been they haven't been the best of rates seen some good rates but I don't know, I just kind of, I, I fell in a rhythm of being indecisive, for real. And uh, I, I, I sat for too long. I, I was I was waiting, looking at the load board in, in, instead of moving to where I, I know the freight was. Like whenever I was up and delivered that load in Gainesville, I was, I was kind of pretty set. I, I, th I was kind of pretty sure I was gonna be able to find a load near Gainesville that's the reason why I didn't come back down to Dallas or Fort Worth until I did I finally did come back down to Fort Worth I picked up that metal load took that to Denison and then whenever I got up to Denison I kind of felt the same way I was thinking seeing seeing loads coming out of Medill Oklahoma and and pretty close by I didn't see nothing that I that I really wanted to jump on so I came back down to Dallas and you know looked at this looked at low board and found this but this is what we got man and we're fixing to run it out delivers tomorrow we're loaded we got two rolls going to Houston and I did take a quick look at the low board to see if there was any parcels and I didn't see nothing so it is what it is Maybe one of these days I'll get a chance to do a partial. Make some extra money, but not today. What's up, man? We're back in Houston. We got here last night and uh, we're gonna go drop off these two reels. Richmond, I got about a 45 minute drive to get there. Uh, it's raining. Kind of feel like I got uh, I got it. like this this time going out was was definitely I, I definitely had better times but uh you know uh, I'm not gonna let this discourage me I kind of trying to process and take away uh, something useful that'll help me in the future. And just, you know, I already know how it goes, man. It's not always gonna be all good out here booking loads off the load board, you know, running the spot market.
thing number apart that it continues to go up every year are those things. 